weekly update for Friday, April 8th. And uh, even though we came up uh, 1,296 signatures short for me to go to Kitchener Comic Con, uh, there was a Kitchener Comic Con this past weekend. And uh, we got some stuff from that that, uh, that Sandy uh, took while he was at the show. World, Dr. Steve here, and he's a great supporter of service artist Dave Sim. A lot of people are calling him the N word, some messages, uh, some magician messages. Well, he's not a feminist because he's a dude. Okay? Doctor's no longer feminist either, but he you know, believes in equal rights. Okay? So leave Dave alone, let him come to Comic Con, just stop calling him the N word. Some Missy Jonas or something. <laughs> that wasn't really Mike Myers, was it? Anyway, I guess uh, there was uh, another little guy running around with him. Uh, same costume, same look. Uh, and the little guy, he thought I was a misogynist. Anyway, uh, thanks to everybody who did show up to the uh, Kitchener Comic Con. Uh, Sandy and Dave Fisher, uh, with a little help from their friends, were able to give away about 1,400 copies of Cerebus in a space of about four or five hours. So, well done. And uh, we'll definitely uh, be back there, <laughs> we in quotation marks, uh, next year, uh, giving away more free Cerebus. And coming up uh, sometime this week, uh, we think, God willing, uh, a report from uh, Sean Robinson on the new paper he done found that uh, we will be using for uh, the next service trade paperback, God willing, which will be Reads. This is our test signature. Uh, now that we've had the success that we had with Church and State Volume 1, getting that to come out exactly the way we wanted it to look. Uh, this is an assortment of Church and State One pages, all varying degrees of difficulty in capturing. This one's the tiny little pen lines on the chair. Um, this one is the flectone densities Cerebus in the window. This one's uh, this one's a tough one because of the the tiny little details, the um, the gray mixed with uh, lots of lots of white in the background. Posey and Cerebus in the fog, probably uh, one of the biggest reproduction nightmares that we've got. So this is uh, the test signature that uh, Sean has put together. And the advantage is that with any printer that we're um, talking to about doing Cerebus, we can send them the Church and State Volume 1 trade paperback, the printed copy that came out exactly the way we wanted it to, and send them this test signature and say, here, run this on your presses, and um, then we've got something to refer to. We can, when we see their printed version, uh, we can say, okay, here's, here's where you're missing some stuff. And all they have to do is refer to their printing and uh, the printed copy of Church and State One that we send to them. This test is because uh, is uh, because of the new paper, as I say, that Sean Robinson found uh, almost by accident that is really, really non-porous, and porous paper has been a problem all along, and uh, he'll be telling you about uh, the advantage advantages of this paper coming up this week on A Moment of Cerebus. And coming up Next week, April 15th, God willing, uh, day after Gerhard's birthday, happy birthday, Gerhard, uh, will be Michael R. 
of Easton, Pennsylvania as six questions. And he sent them on uh, Saturday, March 19th. So uh, we'll be going, going through the, the six questions and answering those for Michael R. and all the rest of you who are interested. So uh, thanks for joining us uh, this week on uh, the weekly update and I hope we'll see many of you again next week. Thank you.